Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about ascension, specifically twin flame ascension, healing, the symptoms you feel, and love. Welcome. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the full moon for January. This is a very, very, um, what I would call maybe a deeply emotional moon. Uh, it's also tagging into some retrograde energy that already started. And you have a little bit of overlap there where there's things and you will feel yourself feeling very complex emotions. Why? Because you are a complex person. You are a multidimensional being. Now, that's not to say you're complicated or that it's complicated. In some ways it is. But how do we distill you down to your pure essence, your purity? The part of you that you actually really, really want to rely on. Well, some of it happens in times like this where it's sort of a stripping away. Traditionally, this is called the wolf moon because in the northern climates, wolves were um, known to howl at the moon during this time. It was originally thought they were howling out of hunger and who doesn't know about feeling hungry, but... It was believed then after, uh, through some research, that they're calling each other, they're gathering, they're calling their community. Now, that kind of spirit and that kind of energy is also a part of the beginning of this year where it's time to start thinking about um, this, we're in all, we're all in this together. You know, yeah, there's a lot of inequity, but how do you do this? If you are paying attention to the outer world, there's always chaos. But how do you bring calm and order to the chaos inside you? How do you begin to rely on your higher self? It is through your twin flame body. And this is an expanded version of, let's say, the light body that you may have known. So maybe when you were a juvenile light being, and now you're more of a maturing light being. You're able to get to some of that depth, that depth of intimacy, that depth of compassion, that depth of understanding certain things. And that depth increases your love, particularly your 5D love, because it flows through you and it lifts you and it moves you. Okay, it doesn't just move your heart, although it does do that. Some other things with this uh, moon energy, just as a reminder, because, yeah, there's a lot of people who will say, like, well, how does the moon even affect a person anyway? Well, it has an effect on the ocean. It pulls, and those are called the tides, and it's no different than your body. Your body is 70% water. You can feel pushed. You can feel pulled. You can feel like a crest of a wave similar to, you know, like an ocean wave if you've ever been surfing. I've tried surfing. I'm not an expert at it, but I enjoy the ocean. And maybe you have too. If you haven't, that doesn't prevent you from feeling waves of energy in or surrounding your body. Now, sometimes when all that stuff kind of crashes in, it does this and it gets intense inside you. And you can feel exhausted or you can feel really overwhelmed. And it's just something that you really, really cannot prevent. What else do you do? Well, um, I'm here to teach you about your brand new twin flame body, the things you have to do, the things that you are able to do at any given time because it is a process. So please join me for my two-day full moon event, either in the evenings or in the mornings. The links are below. One really great thing I have is I have a live question and answer session in every live event that I do. It's a safe place. It's a safe community. A lot of people just like you, not just like-minded, but genuinely in the right heart space. So hope to see you there. Thank you. Bye.